So welcome to our first Agnihotra live event at Eco Village Bulgaranya. Uh, tonight we'll be doing Agnihotra healing fire at exactly 5.49 and 0 seconds. Uh, that's Polish time, that's Bulgaranya time. We are an eco village based in Poland and this is uh, this practice, this agriculture practice is the core of our of our place. Um, I'd like to introduce you to the co-founders of Eco Village Bulgaranya, Harvard University in Bisberg, and Yaroslav Bisberg. Um, Yara, could you tell us a little bit about what we're about to do? Okay, for those people who I'll just start from uh, scratch. For those people who don't know anything about Agnihotra, it's a practice that's really absolutely needed in these uh, dire strait times uh, for healing the atmosphere, freeing the um, environment from pollution, uh, or every kind of pollution, from electronic pol pollution, chemical pollution, even uh, uh, tension on the mind, and uh, the, the practice is an ancient practice that's been revived, uh, started about uh, the end of the end of the 70s uh, that it was brought to the to the to the uh, Europe and to India as well, because in India it was even kept a secret. It has been revived and becoming more, more and more popular and more and more uh, used by hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, around the world, uh, in Europe, in South America, a huge amount of people in South America, in the United States, um, more and more people, and of course India, obviously, and in Australia, and uh, Africa, to some extent. And this practice is being revived because th we're in such dire straits that we need something, people need something, to help them, like right now, to help them um, with the the tension and the stress and the pollution that exists around them in the atmosphere so um so that's why we practice this every day we do other uh, other processes apart from agnihotra because agnihotra is only um uh, done at sunrise and at sunset and uh, we if you want to experience these other practices of course come here and uh, experience the other practices with fire other ceremonies Agnihotra, let's get back to Agnihotra. Agnihotra is the basic fire that's done according to the biorhythms of nature, exactly when the sun and the earth are parallel with each other. That's why, uh, as Suindi said, we're going to be um, pronouncing the, the uh, mantra, which is the sound vibration that's um, synchronized and resonant, resonating with the cosmic energies that are coming from the sun at exactly that time. So how do we know that time? We have an application for that on the phone called Agnihotra Badi, which uh, you can see here. And we've got five minutes until Agnihotra. Right. And just quickly, because we've got such a short time, we've got to light up in a, about three minutes before. Uh, what's used for people who have experienced this before, what's used for Agnihotra is a copper pyramid, as you can see here, three step pyramid I won't go into explain it right now uh, if you want to know more we can explain it afterwards cow dung which we produce here on um, uh, like this it's produced by our happy cows Homer cows <laughs> and uh, and uh, it, we have our own cow dung factory which is taken care of by Sylvia Jan's mm. wife Hi, and Sylvia. <laughs> clarified butter which is also taken care of by Sylvia who is making ghee this is cla clarified butter is ghee in uh, in some parts of the world um, all of these substances the cow dung the ghee and also rice are all medicinal in and of themselves so when you put them all together and you and you connect it with the exact time of Sun facing the earth which is normally called sunrise sunset amazing time in itself you have this incredible effect on top of that we sound a specific sound which is called mantra a sanskrit word 
which means a sound vibration, essential sound vibration, which is the, the resonance of the energies that are coming from the sun, through the sun, and spreading across the earth all the time because the earth is moving around the sun. And at that exact time, we sound the mantra and that's it. That's Agnihotra. It's very simple. It's very easy to learn. Anybody can do it. That's why, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people are doing it around the world. People who um, wouldn't be able to do complicated fire processes. And it's not, uh, it's not associated with any religion, yeah. any, any political exactly. group, any It's not any associated philosophy. with anything. It's yeah. not associated with anything sorry, at all. Sorry to tell you, but we have three minutes. Three we have minutes. three minutes, so we have to light up. We can talk afterwards. If anybody has questions, we can answer them afterwards. All uh, of us are able to answer any Write questions. your questions in and we'll, uh, we'll try to answer them all after Agnihotra. And Pavli, you wanted to say something about uh, sending uh, prayers. Yes, at this time, uh, because Agnihotra is a wonderful um, high energy process, and the times of sunrise and sunset amplify that and so it's a wonderful time for manifest manifestation and at this time we would like to send our love strength courage protection and all positive thoughts and and energies to all the people around the world affected by the latest crisis and uh, and all the families, all the children, all the elderly, all the places around the planet. Hold them in your hearts. And at the time of sunset, let us send those energies forth. They'll receive them. <laughs> of course, bear in mind that uh, the time of Agnihotra, thanks to these energies that are coming from the center of the universe is uh, magnifies whatever you send so it's a wonderful perfect time for for this kind of uh, prayers or any kind of that the what Parvati was just saying so bear that in mind whatever you think whatever you send whatever you your 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 uh, thinking is being magnified at the time of Agni Hotra so just so much time it amplifies, it amplifies. all that positive energy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is our first live online Agnihotra. Mm. So, so glad you could be here with us. Thank you. <coughs> so we're just going to, after the mantra, we're going to uh, stay quiet question. until the fire goes out. Twenty six seconds. Ten seconds. Ah, good night.
Thank you very much for being with us. I can see that there's a lot of questions coming through. Um, one question that somebody really wanted to ask was, how do you deal with um, living in the city, living in a small apartment, and doing Agnihotra? Uh, would you like to answer that? Yeah, I would. <laughs> uh, because there's um, many people that are living in the city and they think, oh, well, I can't be outside to see the sunrise and sunset and be in nature and among the flowers and the trees. But Agnihotra is based on uh, biorhythms of nature, natural biorhythms of nature, a sunrise and sunset. So when you are doing Agnihotra, no matter where you are, you are tuning into nature. You're tuning into the biorhythms of nature, to the roots of nature. And it's beneficial wherever you are. And, uh, and even in many cities, there are people that I know personally that have rooftop gardens, Karen, if you're still there, they have rooftop gardens in the middle of the cement city and they do Agnihotra with their plants and the plants are just like growing beautifully with magnificent fruits and veggies and herbs yeah, and in the city on the rooftop. You create your own oasis. Yeah, you create kind of a microclimate. Uh, we also have uh, another question about the current times and how to cope with all the fear that is going around at the moment. Well, the, the atmosphere that Agni uh, creates thanks to um, the energies of sunrise and sunset, that's why it has to be exactly at that time, not any other time, is uh, heals, heals everything, the atmosphere is um, affecting everything and everything is affected by the atmosphere. So in other words, your mind is, is the same as the atmosphere. It's like two sides of the same coin. So if you change the atmosphere into a positive atmosphere, into a healing atmosphere, into an atmosphere full of um, love and light and, and, and joy, then of course your mind will also be more inclined in that direction. If you do in the opposite to the atmosphere, then of course um, that affects the mind and then affects the rest of, of you. On top of all that, it's not just uh, that by doing Agnihotra you're helping yourself. The big, big plus of Agnihotra is, is that it's helping every other living being around you in that area that you're doing Agnihotra. So even though you might be doing it in a little flat in the city or even in a basement, it's still affecting the living beings that, uh, that, that experience that atmosphere. That atmosphere is going through uh, that building going out to, that's why it's better for to do it you know close to a window uh, and people have been doing it in flats in the city like I've told on me a balcony. on a balcony for example have hundreds of birds come into their flat um, and uh, just enjoying that wonderful atmosphere because everywhere else the atmosphere is so stressful and so tense that they birds, for example, and as as all living beings uh, feel that, and they come to that place. <coughs> Same thing is happening here. If you come here, you'll find all kinds of creatures that shouldn't be here, like uh, salamanders and frogs that should be down in the valley, uh, etc. There's like hundreds of examples, hundreds of examples around the world of how wonderful an effect Agnihotra has on the atmosphere, which then affects everything that lives in that atmosphere. Okay, mm -hmm. I hope that answers the question. <laughs> okay. uh, I have a question from Jai Dandika. Can we do Agnihotra in any other time if we miss the sunrise or sunset? No. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> and why if you, yeah, why? Because as I've already said, uh, mentioned earlier at the beginning, that we have an Agnihotra body, time to time, on the phone. It can show that again. 
Uh, it's an application that can, that's free for all uh, cell phones. You can also get a computer reading from the internet and this is very, very important. That's why we're showing this to you. Without this uh, time uh, program, uh, it, it would be very difficult for you to know exactly what time, you know, to be doing Agni Hotra in any specific place because the earth is flying around the sun. And as I go, for example, down the road to Krakow or any, any direction, uh, west or east, the uh, time for Agni Hotra changes. If I go all the way to Holland, it will be one hour different from here as, uh, as I've experienced. Uh, one hour later in other words that's that's how much the, the change is so you really need this application and or you really need a, a, a pdf uh, from the internet which we can give you freely or you can download yourself why is that so important because exactly at that time when the sun and the earth are facing each other straight on there's an opening in in the atmosphere and there's a flood of energies in the Vedas it's stated that there's electrical energies of all kinds subtle energies uh, radio energies uh, rays of different kind that we have no idea what they are N today scientists simply call them cosmic energies yo yo people who are into yoga call it prana and there's a blast of this energy all the time um, flooding the planet at the coordinate of sunrise and sunset However, because of the pollution that we've created in the atmosphere, it's very, very, very uh, difficult for those energies to touch the earth. We've just, you know, we fill in the atmosphere between the, the, the 12 kilometers atmosphere between us and, and, the unit and the cosmos. And so forests are dying, trees are dying in, in wilderness places. Uh, if you don't believe me, go to, to, to the internet and ask Google. Trees are dying in, in wild forests, m thousands of kilometers away from industries. Because trees also need that, those energies that are coming from the cosmos, the, that prana, that, that, that incredible energy. And it, by doing Agnihotra, you allow that prana to come to the place where, you, where Agnihotra has cleaned up the atmosphere and you allow it to feed all the living beings in that atmosphere and so you, you you're actually are an agent of incredible change you are actually helping the planet to heal itself mm -hmm. so you you know which all as many people as possible need to be doing this so that you know we can uh, transform this horrifying situation that's existing on the planet now i mean it's a dire need I, I have experienced lots of different things and I've never come across any tool that's so simple, so practical, so easy to learn and and doesn't matter what else you're doing, you just add it to whatever you're doing and it and it has this incredible transformational effect on the atmosphere. I hope that answered the question, sorry. It sorry. does, it well, does. Really good. It was really good. Um, <laughs> I have another question and this one I'm going to talk uh, to Barry about, but first I'm going to ask the question. This is from Alhad Dandekar. Can Agni Hotra be the great solution to cure us from coronavirus completely? Now we're not going to talk about coronavirus because we don't want to make great sweeping uh, statements, but we would like to tell you a story about uh, our work with HIV patients in India. Barry, could you tell a little bit more about this? Sure. In Mysore, in southern India, in 2015, a pilot study was done, which the results of which were that we orphaned children in South India. We measured their viral load and the CD4 protein before they were exposed to Agnihotra for many, <coughs> many months. Then after Agnihotra was initiated at sunrise and sunset, the measurements were done again. And the viral load of HIV virus was lowered a lot. The CD4 protein was increased, which is good. So we can assume from that that Agnihotra can have very positive effects on viruses. There was a major study done in 1982 of the effect of Agnihotra on virulent 
that is bad bacteria. That was a double blind controlled study. The pilot study on HIV AIDS virus was not a double blind study. It was a pilot <coughs> study, but we would love for scientists and others interested in that to take it further. Thank you, Barry. That's great. Uh, I have another question. Uh, we're getting lots of questions now. Um, uh, Anna Kosemba, I hope that's how I pronounce your name. Sorry if it's not. Why do you use such ingredients in this ceremony? Um, somebody like to answer mm -hmm. that question? <laughs> back, to me. And back to Yari. <laughs> oh, he's more scientific. <laughs> Why do you use such ingredients? Well, all the ingredients have to be absolutely as organic and as pure as possible. The rice, uh, the, the, the uh, cow dung, and um, the clarified butter. Um, like I said before, those ingredients are in themselves medicinal. Uh, for rice is medicinal. Uh, clarified butter is, is very well known in Ayurvedic medicine as a, a, a ghee. The clarified butter is, is known as ghee in Ayurvedic medicine. It's basically the oil of butter. And it's like water uh, in the sense uh, that like it's the only oil that absorbs the vibrational frequency because this process is vibrational. It's a resonance uh, process and a vibrational process. That means that the, the, the oil of ghee, which is called ghee, absorbs the energies that are, that are coming from you know the cosmic energies that are coming exactly at sunrise and sunset and other oils will not be able to absorb those energies just like water uh, as a liquid is able to absorb specific energies that are being directed at it other liquids do not are not able to do that so this is why ghee is the only oil that's used in ayurvedic medicine because ayurvedic medicine is all about healing not just the physical body but the mental the emotional and the spiritual body and the most important is the the most subtlest of all bodies and so the vibration of the medicine is the most important thing it's the the the, the, the engine the power of, of the of the medicine is in the vibration and the, the material aspect is the last it's like the, the the last wagon on the train so Agnihotra is the same thing it's the energy that Agnihotra is a process of, of, of these subtle energies. So all these pro, all these things, the copper pyramid itself is, is, is copper is the best metal. Copper and gold are the best metals for 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 using for for uh, moving energies, for for directing energies, etc., etc. Um, they can move energies. Copper and, uh, can move energy from one place to another. This is why it was used in the. Uh, used for electricity that's why copper was used in ancient times and is still today for healing purposes pyramid also is another um, incredible tool for um, directing energies if you if you turn the pyramid upside down then of course the energy is kept inside the pyramid this is how uh, the Egyptians and other you know people were working with pyramids the Aztecs the Egyptians pyramids are all over the planet and when you turn the pyramid this way for Agnihotra uh, open then the energies that are coming from the cosmos and from uh, and in the atmosphere are directed upwards and in each direction in the four directions and they're going in a counterclockwise direction spiraling it up all the way 12 kilometers up into the atmosphere affecting the rain clouds and bringing down pure rain and this can be easily proved this, can, this has been proved in Australia in Om Shri Dam, which is an amazing place in uh, near Sydney, where they've proved that the, the, the water that comes uh, down into that place where they're performing Agnihotra and all these other fires is pure, acid free, pollution free water, as well as the water that's in the ground. Th why is that so important in Australia? Because Australia, water is like gold. 
here of course the water also is 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 affected the rain clouds are also affected here in this place as well but you know it's it's not such a big deal here because rain clouds uh, rain is is abandoned here it's not so so in australia so uh that's the pyramid there's much more to be said about the pyramids but we don't have the time rice is well known to be in and of itself um organic rice of course uh and and consum uh, as uh, uh, what do you call it we use round grain rice which is easier to to sort out because we have to take away the 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 grains that are broken, uh, broken. and rice itself is medicinal and uh, this is well known in Asi asian countries where uh, but it was also well known around the world the rice was used as a medicine and also it was a grain that was used for um, giving you strength, energy, and helping you to work all day long and go out to battle even all day long if you had to. Okay. So. <laughs> cow dung. Cow dung. Cow dung. Oh, of course. Oh Thank God. you. Cow dung. The most one of the most important ingredients because people have asked me why don't you use trees, uh, branches from medicinal trees like uh, eucalyptus or um, or beech or whatever you can certain trees can be used in the vedas there are certain trees that can be used they're very expensive um, sandalwood for example and so on but even so this is even better than sandalwood branches because in and of itself cow dung is an incredible medicine the cow is an incredible animal it transmits cosmic energies as long as its horns are not you know cut off and the cow dung that comes out of the cow is pure gold it's incredible it's used in biodynamic farming it's used in permaculture and we have uh, we dry it it has to be fresh to it can't you can't take it out of off the field when it's when it's dried out in the field because of course the insects and 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 everything else all the bacteria have eaten all the goodness out of it so you have to get it fresh you dry it yourself um, and we dry it like this and in in asia it's still used today to uh you know when they when they're um uh what do you call it the poor people that don't have uh, access to to expensive uh, disinfectant and so on and so forth they use it uh, for their floors they use it for the walls of their houses they use it when they build their houses out of clay they all the time they're covering their their houses and their floors with fresh cow dung and what's Russian scientists discovered, which was amazing, a little, this is a little story which is true, they discovered after Chernobyl blew up and there was nuclear radiation everywhere, that fresh cow dung contained much less radioactivity than everything around it. This was a, a, a proven thing. So they were so surprised that they went to India to, to uh, find out because they knew that in India cow dung was revered, cows were revered and cow dung was useful. So they went to India to find out why was cow dung such a big deal for Indians and why were cows such a big deal for Indians. And um, this, this was during, you know, so after, shortly after Chernobyl. And they found out that, that cow dung used by people on their walls prevents, them, prevents radioactivity entering their houses, which is mind-boggling. I mean, people don't realize this, the, the poor people in India or the people who use this, but this is a fact. Uh, so that's another reason why you know to use cow dung instead of sticks or you know herbs or whatever you know we or, or we, any other dung or any other dung oh any other dung forget it you just stink out the whole place with any other dung this is this this is beautiful stuff cow dung does it has it creates a beautiful smell it's 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 amazing so there we go i mean if you want more information on cow dung and and, and cows and and ghee and all this other stuff you can easily Google the more information or, you know. Um, you can go to our website, www.agnihotra.pl for all, everything about it and how to get what you need to start and get your questions asked and answered. We oh, also welcome. regularly update the Facebook page uh, with all our Eco Village news. So. Yeah. We also have a website for the Echo Village, echovillagepoland.org. Now, uh, there are a few other comments and questions. I hope that they got covered in what 
Yarek was talking about because he actually covered a lot of these questions. Like there was one question from a lady asking if uh, you could use other things in agriculture instead of what we use. Um, and uh, I think Yarek covered that that question. We also got a well, just, let me just emphasize one thing because this comes up a lot in talks mm -hmm. on agriculture. Mm -hmm. If you change any aspect, uh, if you add anything else to uh, to, uh, to the fire uh, during the sunrise sunset agriculture, if you change the time, if you change uh, the yeah, mantra, yes. the sound that you're uh, making at, uh, that we make at uh, exactly at that time of sunrise and sunset, you will then change the effect that agriculture has on the atmosphere. You might enjoy the effect, but the atmosphere will not benefit from from what you're doing. It will the atmosphere will not be transformed? The pollution will not go away from the atmosphere. So in other words, what I'm saying is that you have to do it's a science. It's a re science of resonance and vibration. You have to do it exactly. If you change one little thing, you uh, the more you change, like the time, for example, the less the effect will be. Okay. After you, we, after you have set, made the mantra at sunrise or at sunset that we chanted, a very simple mantra, then after that you can say or sing or do whatever you like. In, in <coughs> South America, for example, the, the, uh, they're very Roman Catholic, very devout Catholics, so they sing and pray and chant songs to Mother Mary. In India, uh, all kinds of different people do all kinds of different things. But this is only after you have made the Agnihotra Mantra. You, and uh, you can even wait until the fire is... You can, whatever. You can do whatever you like after Agnihotra. As long as you don't touch the pyramid and don't change anything in the process of doing Agnihotra. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Uh, we are getting some messages that unfortunately some bad connections are happening. Uh, so some people are, are dropping out. If you refresh, hopefully you'll get back to us. Um, uh, also, uh, we've got some thanks to everyone here for answering questions. Thank you very much. Um, we have uh, greetings to Parvati and Yarek from Leshek, uh, Leshek Mikta. 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 Thanks. Uh, and Let's also giggle, giggle. from Ro Ro Rochi Hardy from Peru. Uh, I am starting to do Agni Agnihotra here in my home. I am so peaceful, so calm instead of the situation. Mm. My daughters and I can see with another perspective. So mm. thanks for this. We are one. We are connected mm. by truth and love. Sending you all my light. Mm, we are from Lima, Peru. Thank mm. you. Thank you for that Kilinda. beautiful message. <laughs> so um, and we're going to have to wrap up soon because it is dropping out. Uh, but, but we want to say one more thing um, before we wrap up from Parvati. And we also want to invite you to our future live uh, broadcasts where we're going to talk about Ikevillish Bugurania and other such things. So tune in. And yes. next week, uh, we will post what day, but next week we will be hosting a live um, broadcast in Polish language, the same, all about Agnihatra, but only in Polish, so for our, for our buddies in Poland. Mm -hmm. So um, I wanted to mention that there are many benefits to practice of Agnihatra. It has amazing health benefits as well as with Homa agriculture and uh, effects in the garden and bees and it, it's just amazing what it does. I can speak very quickly to one of the benefits that I experienced, especially in light of the respiratory issues. Um, because I was asthmatic from childhood a very uh, a chronic asthma and I had to I had to go to hospitals sometimes for breathing treatments and injections and breathing sprays and all that stuff and I started uh, practice of Agnihotra probably 40 something years ago and uh, after practicing Agnihotra for two weeks no more asthma and I never I 
been asthma free for over 40 years. And I know several other people who've, who've had amazing effects with uh, Agnihotra with asthma. Also Agnihotra ash medicine, uh, Agnihotra ash remedies are prepared always we provide free of charge. And we also teach Agnihotra there in many places and we never charge. So it's free knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the and the benefits for gardening are pretty amazing because our our garden, our soil was tested and it was tested very acidic and uh, I don't know what number low not a good soil. pH. 4.5. 4.5. Oh, good. Thank you. <laughs> I shouldn't be talking about it. But it was amazing uh, because the laboratory said, oh, we're so sorry, but nothing is going to grow here unless you have a truckload of lime and this and this and this. And at the time, we didn't have money to buy a truckload of anything. So we just used Agnihotrash hair trash in the soil and we built a uh, a shala, a little hut in the garden, and we do Agnihotra there at sunrise and sunset every day. And our gardens grow all kinds of things that technically shouldn't be uh, successful being grown in this mountainous atmosphere. Everything from corn to broccoli, tomatoes, and various herbs and We also wanted to say that um, there's a lot of qualified, certified homotherapy teachers here. And in light of the current crisis in Europe, where a lot of people are homebound, um, we wanted to offer uh, Skype Agni Hotra lessons, personal one-on-one. Yeah. -on -one. So if you would like to have a personal one-on-one -on -one or class a small group. or a small group on Skype, we have the best teachers here with the most experience and we would love to book you in so sure. please uh, let us know if you'd like to book in That's it's great. always free of charge and yes. um, and we can tell you how to start and uh, set you up so so that's something that we felt was important to offer and we, and we have all, lots of literature in English Polish and some in Spanish and we have uh, all the supplies that are necessary available yeah. all the information is on internet agnihotra.pl or homotherapypoland.org agnihotra.pl homotherapypoland.org in english and we wish everybody healthy safe and joyous times together we are one and that's a lot of power So from all of us here at Eco Village Bugaravanya, we have Jan, Barry, <laughs> Asha, Rory, the gardeners, Ola, Daniel, quickly, <laughs> but not too quickly. Hopi. Hopi. <laughs> and uh, and, Sue and, me. and Mario. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to sign off now and we want to thank you very much for joining us and tune in. We're going to do this again very soon and stay happy. And next week, Polish. Next week, Polish. Ciao. Ciao. Bye. Bye. <laughs>